Hi, my name is Christopher Krull and today I would like to share with you my review of the JT Air Noesis 215RT. After reading 57,000 posts on AVS forum about JT Air speakers and subwoofers, after seeing the movies by Youthman, thanks buddy, <laughs> they are here because of you mainly, and after seeing these reviews, I decided to order these speakers. I was so much excited because I have to wait for weeks before they were produced, before they were shipped, because they, before they travel from the other part of the world to here but I was like a kid I was waiting like a kid that know that there are some gifts for him waiting in the parents wardrobe and that he will get it for Christmas but it's just three days before and he's excited he know they are there but he cannot see them yet I was like this I had to prepare the space for these big buddies so I had to destroy parts of my cabinets here which were beautifully done beautifully done the built-in cabinets but they were just for the small speakers before not so small because they were J JBL's EC 60, which are quite big ones, big towers, but these ones are like eight times bigger. They are two times wider, longer, taller than any normal speakers. In order to prepare my setup for these speakers, I ordered this big, big Dissonic amplifier. This is the M3A 6107 model, which has, uh, it's based on the Pascal modules. Uh, as far as I know, it's like uh, X-Pro3 or something like this, X-Pro1. You have to check on the website. But this one have seven channels. The three front channels for the three big towers are 2200 watts into four ohms and another four channels for the surrounds have 400 watts in 8 ohms or 800 watts in 4 ohms. I had to invest in separate amp because my Yamaha AVR A3080 Avantage would just look compared to powering the speakers like if you put a motorbike engine to a tank. After weeks of waiting, finally they arrived. But they arrived from America, from the Jeps factory, JTR factory to China from China to Bangkok in Thailand, from Bangkok. They were routed to Phuket Island and finally came to my home. And then we had to unpack it. I too, took to my helpers uh, to help me with the speakers because each one is about 220 pounds, which is about uh, 100 kilos for one speaker, for one speaker. <laughs> so we had to carry it through the stairs to my home. I could not walk for two days after it. Uh, my back was just destroyed <laughs> from carrying all this heavy load. After opening them the size of them were just ridiculous just ridiculous my wife when she stands near them she looks as funny she can put her whole head inside the Twitter inside the medium and high frequency speaker here uh, inside the horn it's so big also when I look the black like, binding posts binding posts are ridiculous I need another cable for them. I have to go to my mains and take the big cables that put 100 amps to my home free phase electricity and then I can use them for the speakers because the binding ports are so massive. From what I know, Jeff was making for many, many years uh, before, he was making also the professional PA speakers. So he know how to make the equipment tough. You cannot make 100 kilo speaker, which will be, you know, with the uh, very delicate finish or something because you cannot transport it, you cannot carry it, it will just fall down. So he's using the 24 millimeter thick Baltic birch board which is much more much more stronger than any normal normal wood used to make uh, to produce speakers also if you look outside this is the style of the finishing that uh, people use that I have seen in the professional audio system in the heart of these speakers there is coaxial compression driver uh, made by BMS as far as I know it's the model BMS 4593HE which by itself only costs more than $700 uh, or, or even more <laughs> I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but this one is called one of the world's loudest and clearest speakers and this coaxial driver is made from two diaphragms so we have one diaphragm in the front which is uh, the uh, making the all the high frequency sounds and for the mid-range we have another bigger diaphragm in the back so we actually it's two speakers made in one but they are working together in a coaxial form as a single port sound of sound which improves the clarity the BMS is using their patented uh, ring shaped diaphragms which are v-shaped like this uh, and uh, uh, 
and the coil is attached to the middle of it, which is uh, reducing distortion. The BMS driver is located here, inside the wooden horn, which is actually part of the cabinet. This wooden horn uh, has 60 times 60 degree dispersion um, coverage pattern, which gives amazing imaging. Amazing imaging, you can hear the things that you never heard before in your system. BMS speaker is taking all the frequencies down to 500 hertz. So this big boys, <laughs> this big boys, 15 inch big boys, they are just taking everything down below the 500 hertz, which gives that uh, almost, uh, actually almost all the sound apart from the bass and mid bass and some, some higher uh, frequencies is coming from just this one point source, which, which gives amazing clarity. And actually um, from what I read <laughs> in the JTR, these two speakers are also physically aligned with this one, which makes the sound coming just from here. So you don't need to sit far from the speaker to get quite uh, quite consistent sound, you have these two huge bass drivers in each speaker. Each one of them is 15 inch, 15 inch, 38 centimeters. Crazy sound, subwoofers have this sound of th this kind of drivers. Uh, and this one also have very big 19 millimeter uh, X-Max, which gives us a lot of movement, a lot of movement here. Uh, each one is weighting 30 pounds, which is 14 kilos. It's actually, each driver weights so much as my former towers from JBL. <laughs> I asked Youthman to use part of this video when he was in the JTR factory and he was showing the components, how they, the, these are made. And I could see there the huge, just huge crossover. Huge crossover, which is actually the size of some bookshelf speakers. And each one of these have two crossovers like this inside. So two big boards with this huge element, huge capacitors with the size almost of the can of beer. <laughs> you have this inside the speakers. When you compare it with normal towers, normal speakers with the crossover is sometimes like this big. And this one is two boards like this, very, 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 very tough and ready for very big loads. So. How is the sound coming from these big beasts? The sound is so clear, so amazingly clear, and you can go so much high in, up in volumes with this 2200 watts amplifier with 2000 watts capable speakers. You can just go to the levels with so much clear sound that your ears will be so excited. They might start to bleed, so you have to be very, very, you have to watch out for it. Because with normal speakers, no amplifier, you will get with the louder volumes, you will get a lot of distortion coming from the amplifier clipping, coming from the speakers, coming from all parts of your equipment. But with this setup, you just go up and go up and sometimes you just have to forget when you s stop to listen, your ears will just make the, the noise, the pee noise just after you went on a rock concert with 140 dB sound system. When you listen to the voices in the speakers, they are so beautiful, so amazing. You start to cry and you would like your mama to hug you because it's so beautiful. There's a lady's show, all that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are closed, where the world she can get what she can.
voice is not only heard because of their size, you know, there is no replacement for displacement. So the, the voice, even the most delicate female or male, male voices, the most delicate instruments are so clear, so, so beautiful that it's not only heard in your ears, actually you feel it in your body. You feel it like somebody is singing and this voice is going through all your body. Oh, misty eye of the mountain below Keep careful watch of my brother's souls And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke Keep watching over during sun If this is to end in fire Then we should all burn together Watch the flames climb high Into the night Calling out Father Hold Stand by and we will Watch the flames burn on and on The mountainside So how they sound with movies? I actually, I bought them mainly for the home theater uh, because I wanted to get the feeling same you get in the IMAX cinema when just the bass, the, the size of the sound, of the sound stage is just so huge that it just hits you in the face. And this is what actually I got. I was watching to the Fury movie and the missiles which were going from tank to tank, I felt they are just hitting me in the face. <laughs> God damn it, I set fire! Fire! God damn it! I'll with your manual! Fight for what you say to fight! I'm headed! On one! Now! On one! And before you continue, if you like this review, if you like this review, put a big thumbs up! Like big thumbs up! Like the thumb up! Oh, it's so small compared to the speakers, but put a big one like this under this movie. It will help that this movie can spread to more people and they can get to know about the JTR, about this amazing company. Yesterday we watched with my wife the Mission Impossible Fallout and the sound, especially, okay, the, all the sound effects and everything, the vocals, the, the voices, okay, it's amazing, it's great, but the sound of the music in the Mission Impossible, the orchestra was so huge. Like I was sitting in a hundred people orchestra and they were all around me. One time I wanted to check how is the bass from them because I also have the SVS PB16 subwoofer in the near field position which is hitting me straight in the back and making amazing bass but I wanted to try these ones. And when I hooked them without the subwoofer, the bass was so strong, my ceilings started to disintegrate. <laughs> The imaging from them is something I never heard actually before. Many times when I'm listening in the just two channel music, I would cut my hand to bet that this one is working. But then I come here and I hear he's not working because the two speakers on the left and right side, they can generate the so much precise sound stage where all the instruments, they are not only like from le left to right speaker because the, the voice, for example, the vocal is dead in the middle. It's just in the middle. It's so amazing because you can see from two speakers and they can produce the voice which is coming like, like from the center speaker. But what was for me surprising was when I was watching some movies and sometimes I heard the sound on the wall when there is no speakers, just, just, just on this wall. Behind, behind the speaker there was the sound, somebody shut the door there. 
I don't know how Jeff did it, you know, it's some magic, but it, it's just amazing, you know, the soundstage, soundstage is so much bigger than my uh, front front wall here. It's so much bigger, they can just consistently put all kind of elements in all kind of places, in the front, in the back, in the top, down, left, right, I don't know how it works, but it's just amazing, you know, when you watch the movie or you listen to really good uh, mastered music, uh, all the instruments, are they are just all around you, you know, and sometimes I have to, many times I have to check if I have the AI mode in my Yamaha, which will expand the sound to all my Atmos speakers and uh, all the surround speakers, but it's not, only two speakers can do this thing. What was also surprising to me, it was something that actually I bought the speakers for, which is Dynamics. And before, when I was using my JBLs powered only by AVR, but by my Yamaha and with the external subwoofer, it was great. I loved the sound. Actually, I was in love with my cinema. Loved it so much. It was great. I did not know that it can be improved somehow. But then I <laughs> put this one with the external amplifier and together they made so much big change because now the sound is so much the dynamic range is so big when you watch a movie for example it's here and when it wants to hit you it hits you so hard sometimes you have to put the volume up because it's so hard suddenly that you just scared you are scared you fall down of your chair you know you call the cops somebody break out in your home it's so 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 much uh, sometimes it's even disturbing <laughs> actually it's disturbing this this dynamic range because i was just not accustomed to before i felt like you know right now the the, the, the let's say amazing um, dynamic range is like this but before i felt like it was like this so like maybe things were I, I was putting them a little bit louder you know on my amplifier with the sound to, to to hear all the voices clear and have nice feeling but it did not have this this shoots you know it was everything was quite consistent i think it was just the capabilities of my speakers and my amplifier we did not allow for this big 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 shots but now it's amazing you know the it added another dimension for watching movies because now it's when you watch when there's no action on the screen you just hear the voices okay it's nice uh, you, you watch the movie and everything but if you want to hit you it hits you so much in the face that you are scared you know i was many times i was just scared watching movie here and it, it just hits me i'm really t t terrified to watch horror movies in here I, I did not even try you know i don't want to crap my chair <laughs> Before, when I had only my JBL speakers hooked to Yamaha, I loved to watch movies here. Actually, I was mostly watching movies in this uh, cinema. Uh, music was like maybe 5-10% only. And I used also for music the AI mode. The AI mode in Yamaha, because two channel actually, they sounded flat, not so much dynamic. The soundstage was very small and very flat. When this one arrived, oh my God. This sound is so great because this AI mode, you know, in Yamaha that I was using before, now it works really good. It works really good. I remember that before all the surround systems, when you were putting your music through some surround uh, upscaling, it was always making just a noise, you know, the sound stage was just messy. Uh, it did not work good. But this AI in the Yamaha Vintage models, it works really nice, really nice to separate the two channel music into all the channels. So before I was listening in this mode, now two only of JTR speakers generate so amazing sound stage like you are in the middle of the music like the music surrounds you yeah like you are feeling it in the whole your body that uh, it's it's much better than all my 11 channels before so to sum up you can put a lot of emblems on the speakers you can call them end game signature reference hi-fi high-end audiophile speakers because they are so good they are so good i think it's hard to find anything within this price range i don't even believe that there is something in any price range that can compete with them in the case of dynamics potential and the the and the quality of the sound, the clarity, and just everything. It's, there is nothing that can compare to them. But how I like them? I like them so much that I will go right now to my office and I will just write email to Jeff and order eight more surround speakers from him because they are so good. They are so good. I hope these are my, these are my end game speakers. I hope they will last all my life. I don't see what can be bettered with them. 
Let's see how the whole 11 channel setup from JTR will work. So I hope you like this channel. You should subscribe right now. Really, you should subscribe right now. If you like this review, I will make more. I will make reviews of movies, 3D, 4K movies, there are 650 um, uh, positions in my collection, so I will share with you uh, which, which sound good, which are worth buying, which are not. I will also uh, plan to share my knowledge about the home theater. I'm really satisfied with this one. I love uh, this one. I'm staying in it almost every day, so maybe I can share with you some of my experience and then you can use it in your own cinema. And thanks for watching. Have an amazing day today.